Good morning, a warm welcome to you. Sage here and thanks for joining me on Calkine TV for the Smart Market Insights show. I hope you're staying warm and dry wherever you may be watching from, especially in Sydney this rather wet morning. The Australian share market suffered a dismal month in June with the benchmark ASX200 index witnessing profound volatility on the back of interest rate hikes, ongoing geopolitical tensions, recession concerns and surging consumer prices. As a result, the benchmark index finished the month of June 8.9% lower. Although there were several laggards, there were a few ASX listed stocks that managed to defy the overall market gloom. Stocks such as Tabcor Holdings advanced over 15% during the month, helping some investors to limit the losses. Investors are now hoping July will be brighter and boost their muted investment portfolios. Now on that note, let's take a look at three top gainers and losers on the ASX in June. Gaming and betting company Tabcor's stock was the top gainer last month with a gain of 15.1%. The boost was largely the result of a $150 million Australian dollar litigation settlement with Racing Queensland litigation, ending a three-year old dispute. Moving on, Atlas Arteria, which operates and manages a portfolio of toll road assets and trades, had a good month with the stock advancing 12.1%. News of IFM Global Infrastructure Fund purchasing a 15% stake in the company was undoubtedly the reason for Atlas Arteria's solid June performance. And the last gainer on our list this morning, IRS provides information technology and management services to its clients. The stock of IRS was the third best performer on the ASX 200 in June, ending with a gain of 9.9%. And the stock gained despite no major price sensitive information coming out of the company for the month. Let's now take a look at the contrasting top losers in June. Buy now, pay later company Zip was the top loser in June, ending the month with a decline of 52.2%. Zip's poor performances last month came amidst the overall weakness in the tech sector due to rising interest rates. Another possible reason was the tech giant Apple's announcement of the launch of its own BNPL service, which may create stiff competition in the sector. Moving along, lithium producer Lake Resources stock fell 49% in June, despite the stock's inclusion in the ASX 200. The stock was mainly under pressure last month following the sudden exit of its chief executive, Steve Promnitz. And lastly, battery materials and technology firm Novanix saw a 44.3% fall in June, despite the company not releasing any major price sensitive news during the month. Thanks so much for joining us on that one. But that is all for this edition of the Smart Market Insights. Hope your day in trading is going well. Please join us again tomorrow for another episode. But until then, keep it locked. We've got more on the agenda outlining the market insights and business news. Sage here signing off for now.